All right, everybody. Real Estate Ninja here. I hope you're doing well. We're going to talk about side hustles. We're going to talk about making money. We're going to talk about real estate. This, to me, is the greatest real estate side hustle that you could ever get into. You need no money to get into it, and it's a big deal. It may involve something you don't like doing, quite frankly, but honestly, I think it is the greatest opportunity because you can make money a bunch of different ways, and it's scalable, and you could leave that once you bust straight out into real estate and you're buying and selling homes, you're flipping homes, you're buying cash flowing properties. Okay, first off, don't turn off the don't turn off the video when you hear this side hustle because a lot of you probably are like, no, I would never do that. It's gross. I, I don't want to touch it. Okay, but I guarantee you, I'm gonna probably come up with some good points in this video that you can use in other businesses or other money making ventures. Okay, this is the side hustle. Ready for it? It's real estate cleanouts. Now. The reason why and what is a real estate clean out? When real people want to sell their homes or a bank wants to sell their home, whether it's been taken back in foreclosure or somebody just wants to sell their home, they need it cleaned up. They need it cleaned out. And a lot of people will pay good money, especially banks and real estate agents will pay good money for you to show up and take out all the junk and tidy it up, right? Um, you do not need any equipment. As a matter of fact, you could use a Civic, a Honda Civic to do this. It may take more trips, but really when you start organizing yourself and going to real estate agents and going, hey, I have this cleanup business. I come in, I clean out all the stuff and, and dispose of it uh, for X amount of money or so much per hour. You can also go and have a dumpster uh, dropped off. You can have a truck and trailer show up with somebody and pay them while you're you know, uh, loading it up. They go take it to the dump. There's multiple ways of making money, but this is this is really what I wanna break down. So how do you make money from this? Obviously you're getting paid to do something. You're getting paid to load crap up and get rid of it, right? When you start a business, go get yourself a business license or an, uh, you start an LLC, you can start writing things off that you would use in everyday life, like a vehicle, like gas, um, like office space, things like that. Of course, this isn't tax advice. You gotta go talk to a tax professional, but you start seeing where I'm going with this. So you're getting paid to go and do something. You have a business now, a full-blown business. You just, boom, you're in it. You're going to real estate agents. You start, you know, go to Vistaprint, spend $10 for a, like 500 business cards and you start handing them out. You get to know people, right? You're making money doing that. Now you're making money because a lot of stuff, one man or woman's junk is another man or woman's treasure, right? Everyone I know that's doing this are taking so many things to the junk, the junkyard, but they're also taking just as much stuff back to their house and they're selling it on eBay, on Craigslist, on Facebook, a whole different revenue stream. Imagine you've got this whiteboard up and you say, this is my business, my junk hauling business. This is all this money I'm making hourly right here. And you're adding up your hourly wages. Then you have this other column of all the stuff that you're selling, right? It gets even better with this type of business. Also, real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and plug. If you want to take the side hustle course, lowest price it's ever been, it's down below. Um, and there's also a whole section in my side hustle course of how to have real estate as a side hustle. What I suggest, the pitfalls of it, the good aspects, the bad aspects, all of that stuff, totally separate than the real estate crash course, which also is down there. There's a link down to that if you want to, how to prepare for this real estate crash. But you have to realize when you start this kind of business, this junk hauling business, there are gonna be more and more foreclosures hitting the market. As a matter of fact, in June, you're gonna see a rapid expansion of the amount of foreclosures or REO properties hitting the market because all of the forbearance problems and foreclosure problems that we saw um, a year and a half ago, a year ago, they are now gonna be coming to the market. All right, there was an extension of how long it took through the Dodd-Frank Act of how long it takes a bank to work through a foreclosure with someone, it extended it. You're gonna see that. You're also gonna see an expansion of, of people selling homes and homes hitting the market, right? That's gonna be even more business for you, right? So you've got two different ways you're making money from this, which I think is amazing, but this is where it gets even better. Let's say you wanna be a real estate agent. Well, the best way to start, not to be a real estate agent, but a real estate investor, the best way to start is at the bottom. Check this out. Who's gonna know about the homes first before they hit the market? The person cleaning out the house. Think about how powerful that is. You're a real estate investor, or you wanna just go buy your own home, and you're in with all these real estate agents. You know, you're bringing them by uh, Starbucks gift cards as thank yous, you're, 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 you're shaking hands, you're meeting people, you're getting along with everybody in the industry. Um, you're getting called to clean up a house before it gets listed. 
you get the first shot at going and walking in and going, how much are you asking for this one? And they tell you, go, I'm interested. And they go, the agent, think about this, the listing agent, you get on with these on fire listing agents that know marketing, they're smart people. They know their job, right? And they're the ones getting the most business. And that's the, those are the agents you're wanting to go identify and go attract, right? You want their business. You come in and you go, I want this place. They All they're seeing is uh, cash registers ringing because they're going, I get the full commission if this person goes for me. It's a win-win. So that is, I think, one of the greatest side hustles you could do. Now, let's talk about expansion. Think about it. You get yourself a truck and you're loading junk into a truck and you're hauling it away or you're, you're, you're um, getting... You're contacting your local dumpster company and having them drop off dumpsters. You fill it up and then they haul it away, right? And you tidy up the place. Uh, you, of course, keeping stuff on the side to sell. But, and with REOs and foreclosures, people leave more stuff. Just, you know, just stuff. They can leave junk. But they could also leave some treasures. And I've, I know people that have found everything from electronics to gold coins in homes. And they are crushing it. Well, let's say now you're like, you know, I keep renting all these dumpsters and by and large, most of my stuff, you know, these clean outs will fit in a couple dumpsters. Now I go get myself a dump trailer, you know, that I, I fill up and I go right back up at the dump at the dump and I hit the button and dump it out. I no longer need to huck things off from either the trunk or the, of the car or the, the back of a truck. I'm saving time dumping it. It's getting even better. I get one of those dump trailers that have the dump portion that offloads on site. And then I don't even have to leave it there. I can, I can just leave the dumpster part and pick it up later. And shoot, now I'm expanding to where I don't even have a clean out this weekend, but I'm, I'm dropping off dumpsters at other people's properties and hauling that away too. Think about how big this gets, you know, to where you got a truck, a trailer, and a couple of those dumpster units that fit on one trailer and you're dropping them off at other places, multiple jobs. You can start hiring people, contractors, to come in and help clean up these things as well. It's a very expandable, and also contractable business where you could grow and expand and contract with the economy easily. But again, it gets you right in with the real estate professionals right there. You see, a lot of people, they don't, they wanna be real estate investors, become millionaires like I did, but they don't have a plan on how to go do it because you need money, right? You always need money for at least that first house. You know, I teach people in certain cycles of real estate downturns when, when the Federal Reserve's dropping rates aggressively. They're going to fake it out this spring. But when it, it does start, you only need money for one home, one home. And that's a very small amount, like 3.5% down. And then what you're going to do is you're going to start refinancing on the way down, and all those homes are, are free. But you need to start somewhere. And one of the greatest places to start is with a business that is in the business of real estate somehow. And the easiest way to sneak up the ladder and attack those properties and get all the ones where people didn't see you coming is a business like this that most would think are, is on the bottom of the uh, totem pole when it comes to business uh, opportunities. I think the total opposite. I think junk hauling is one of the greatest side hustles that will turn into a business, an LLC, that you could do. Um, I think it will make the most amount of money it's the easiest to advertise. It's the easiest to get clients. And I I mean, there's other businesses that are really easy, but this one I think takes the cake. I just wanted to give you that idea. I'm gonna start doing more videos on business ideas and side hustle ideas on both channels because I think it's so valuable and so important because people are losing their jobs. Employment's gonna go up. There are gonna be more people unemployed. And so I wanna keep giving people inspiration and ideas. If you wanna take it to the next level and you wanna check out the, the side hustle course or even the real estate crash course, how to prepare for the real estate crash that's already started, well, there's links down below to those. Thank you so much for watching. The Real Estate Ninja is out.